Hi everyone, welcome to Sense with Singh. So this is another list video. I will be doing a few more of these. This is an interesting thing. So let's get started with this. Right, so today's list is going to be a bit different. Others, others, what are others? So others are basically oils which are extracted from different materials and they are in their purest form. For example, uh, the oils extracted from rose becomes a rose other. So just like that, there is khas which comes as an extract of vetiver. So there are many other others like that. Uh, then what is done is there is a certain thing called mukhallat. A mukhallat is a blend of these oils. So these others are mostly uh, florals, lots of flowers, so uh, most of their varieties and then there are spices uh, which are created into distilled or extracted as oils and these are then blended together to create a mix. That mix is called mukhallat. So I have a number of others today which can be worn in summer because usually these others are very heavy in their texture, in their, in their fragrance. So not many people can bear with them, but I've taken out some of these others which are very suitable for the summer season. So without any further delay, let's start with this list. Right, so the first one that I'm going to tell you about is Kesari Sandal. So Kesari Sandal is an ether that I had bought from an Instagram page. So you can see a yellow colored liquid here and uh, there are a number of things available with them. I picked up this one. So let me tell you about this. And these others are not going on the tester strips. These are going on the skin right away. So this is exactly what the name is. There is a rich saffron on a very sweet sandalwood. There is definitely some rose in there as well. It is not dominant, but it is just uh, just linking the kesar with that sandalwood, the saffron and the sandalwood note, very nicely linked together by that rose. So this is sweet, this is vibrant, this is, uh, this is very bright, very happy uh, uh, fragrance, this one. So that is Kesari Sandal. Uh, I, I get about, it's a, it's a good long lasting uh, one as well, it says about 7 to 8 hours on your skin, even in uh, very hot conditions and really bounce, uh, really goes away in projection. So very good projection on this one. So that was Kesari Sandal, which came from Perfume Oil Shop on Instagram. Uh, I'll be leaving all these links in the description. Right, so let's get to the next one. So the next one we have here comes from the uh, house Niche. So Niche, by now, uh, the people who are following my page know that Niche is a very well-established Indian fragrance brand. And they have their other range, they also have their perfume range. All the perfumes have been uh, reviewed by me. I will leave those links down here as well. So this one is called Guldan. Uh, this comes as... So I had visited the Niche office uh, a, a few months back and they had gifted me these but the presentation was not ready by that time so they had gifted me these right away they packaged them labeled them right away because they were yet to be launched and these came to me as pre-launch stuff so guldan is super good i know this one very nicely let me tell you about it imagine all very fragrant white flowers that is what Guldan is. So Guldan means a bouquet and you can pick up that jasmine, that tube rose, anything that you can remind, that recall, makes you recall a white flower, white fragrance, anything like that. Hint of greens in there, very fresh, very beautiful. Another fragrance which is very loud in projection. So it is one thing with others, they usually are quite loud in projection. Uh, depending on uh, their blends and how you apply them, where you apply them, uh, it will 
affect the longevity also but usually these are very long lasting and this one here particularly is excellent so guldan by niche is something that you should look forward to and not just look forward to these are now available uh, on their website i guess uh, if not then uh, you can uh, contact uh, their page on instagram and they can make make these uh, available for you so guldan by niche was uh, 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 the second one so let's go move on to the next one so next we have here is ibrahim ud so i was approached by them and they sent me some samples uh, there are about six of their fragrances that i talked about on my instagram there is a post uh, i'll link that post so as you can basically go through and see what these all are but there was one that particularly stand out stands out for me and that is uh, le let me show you the presentation first so this these come in a very pretty box this is a good finish on the box here so this is uh, Ibrahim uh, written here and Uth and fragrance gifts and then the, the bottle is fit right in and the name here is Burj Al Arab by Ibrahim Oud and this is that little bottle I like the brown finish here so let me tell you about this one uh, color is it's a very very pale yellow color it is not that rich uh, I know it's looking like brown here, but it's not that brown in reality. You see that? Yeah. Right. So this goes on the skin here. Oh, the rose is coming very nicely. So this one is a very soapy rose with spices in the back. There's some saffron in there, sandalwood definitely. The rose is a bit dirty to my nose. That's what it comes across. But overall it is very wearable in the summer weather. It is quite good and it lasts very well as well. The projection is again very good. So a rose, sandalwood, spicy combination with, their, with a hint of earthiness to it which gives it a good base to, to, to last better actually so this was uh, Burj Al Arab by Ibrahim for Oud so moving on to the next one so the next other that we are going to talk about uh, I've been wanting to try this other for a very long time and it came as a surprise to me so this comes from Banka uh, Banka Atar and Mr. Goromera, thank you so much for sending this across. So this one here is called, let me get that into focus, Tef Rose. So Tef Rose is a beautiful, I love the bottle here. It is matte brown finish. Very nice, very nice presentation. Uh, so let's get this on the skin. So talking about Taf Rose, so Taf Rose is a very bright, fresh, powdery, sweet, velvety rose. So all that character into one and I can get uh, the projection of it. After all these others, this one is actually bouncing off much better. So I don't get many other nuances out of this. I get a very strong powdery rose. It is quite sophisticated. It is quite gentle. This is not your regular other kind of a thing, but this is actually very well done. So this is another uh, other that I recommend for the summer. So this was uh, Banka's uh, Taif Rose. Right. So moving on to the next one. Right. So the next one comes from India Perfumers. Kannauj. Now they have a ton of stuff, a lot of stuff uh, and the quality of their stuff is excellent. It is superb. I have tried a lot of their stuff. So this one is called Mukhallat Al Shifa. This one is again with a dipstick. So get that out. Right. 
right. I think that's that's more than enough for this one. I just put a small patch. I don't know if it is going to be visible, but it is right here. It is a small patch that I put here. Now let me tell you about this one. This is so unique and so fresh. This is this is rose with dry fruits. This is what it comes across to my 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 nose. It is rose dry fruit. There is a bit of spices in there. Maybe an amber, maybe not. I'm not sure because uh, those sweet dry fruits are actually very confusing. <laughs> But the flowers, the spices, and that dry fruit combination is so beautifully delectable. This is this is very unique. I've not smelled anything so unique. Mukhallat Al Shifa by India Perfumers Kannauj. I love this. I not only I do I want this as another. I would really love to have it as a perfume as well. So Mukhallat Al Shifa by uh, India Perfumers Kannauj. A rose, spicy dry fruit rose, almost a gourmand other. If this came a little bit warm and edible, you could, I'm, I'm sure, I'll have to find out if it's edible because I really want to add this to milk. <laughs> this would taste so good. So, Mughalat Al Shifa by uh, India for Famous Kannauj. So, we have two more others left now. The one that I'm going to tell you next is one of my favorites for the summer. But the last one that I'm going to tell you is an experiential one. And the people who know this statement, the experiential one, will understand what I'm talking about. But first, let's get to the next one. Last, definitely not the least on the list. This one is beautiful. So I had received a package a little while back from them. And uh, I've had the fortune of testing these others, giving them time properly. So we are talking about Eunice Perfumes. So Eunice Perfumes is uh, our perfumers based out in Kolaba in Mumbai. And they had sent me some stuff. And the one that stood out for me, because this was something very unique and beautiful, is this little one right here. This is called MBR. I don't know what MBR stands for. But look at that color, very nice, rich brown orange tone here and it is so unique. I'll tell you why, give me one sec, I'll tell you why. So there's a plastic dipstick in here, I would really want an upgrade to, uh... oh it is already flowing, wow. Right, so maybe you can see the small patch on this one that I've put. Uh... There it is. There you see this one. This right, right here. Yes. Okay. So now this, uh, I think this I need to need to spread a little. Yeah, that's better because it was way too concentrated on my nose. So right. So MBR. There is a fruity nuance to it. Having an ambery base, maybe MBR stands for amber, <laughs> but having an ambery base, that is for sure, because I get a touch of animalic note in here. The overall character is very bright citrus. This is my interpretation. Someone else could have a totally different interpretation on this, and they are allowed to have it, of course. But this one is beautiful. MBR is ambery, sweet, fruity nuances at the top. An almost aquatic citrus tone in here as well. A very unique other. There's definitely florals too. Now I can get a bit of green florals as well. Something like a tube rose maybe. I don't know if it's there or not, but uh, it is working like an accord and there is much more happening in this one rather than just a just a ambery other. No, there is a lot happening in this one and it performs so well. This is so unique. Uh, usually I would suggest 
that you use others as uh, a base coat you can say so that you put some oil and then you uh, spray your perfume over it so you get a unique fragrance and that oil base helps to increase the longevity of your perfume as well so this one right here is a slightly aquatic citrus fruity nuances and ambery base uh, i love this one the most this is beautiful mbr by yunus perfumes and i'm telling you the other stuff is also remarkable remarkable stuff so that's mbr by yunus perfumes I love these cute little boxes as well. They are the, they're a good thing to have. Um, put put in the series and they look very nice. <laughs> so quite quite good work in presentation. So the last one now is another which is, has been produced in India for a very long time, and now Niche is coming up with them. Niche has now put them on their uh, uh, catalog. They are available to be purchased. And now uh, I love how they now come with a metal plate on it. Very beautiful detailing. I love detailing in a presentation. So this one is called Geely Mitti. Very unique name and very unique smell. Well, actually, not a unique smell. We are all uh, familiar with the smell of Petrachev. This is the smell of Petrachev. The most authentic smell of Petrachev that there could be which could be captured in a bottle. So even the sellers uh, say that it is not uh, an other to be worn. This is more of an experiential other. And I agree with them. You can just open it and... <laughs> oh my God. If you are missing rain, if there has been no rain for a while, and you really want that petrichor smell, and you want that feel of those raindrops falling on earth making that very puffy kind of a sound so this here is this here is award winning this is an aroma that we all love this is an aroma we all connect with and uh, it could not have been done any better apart from Gilimitti by Niche so this is a bonus that I wanted to share with you apart from the six others that I had on my list. Right, so the first one we talked about was uh, Kesari Sundar. Yes, it is getting sweeter and sweeter with the uh, sandalwood becoming, sandalwood Kesar combination becoming more prominent. Uh, the next one I told you about was Gultan, all the white florals put together. Uh, next we talked about uh, uh, Ibrahim Surya's Burj Al Arab, very nice other. Roses, spices in here. Good one here. Good one again. Uh, then there was Banka's Tayaf Rose, a creamy, powdery rose. Very well executed. Uh, very sophisticated scent. And uh, this almost a drinkable other by Indian per India perfumery Kannauj. Uh, this keeps getting better. Less, less of dry fruit, more of florals coming up now. Beautiful development. Lovely transformation. And last but not the least. MBR by uh, Eunice Perfumes and as it dries down it gets more and more uh, bright more easier on the nose so this one I highly recommend and last but not the least Gilimitti by Niche so these are some recommendations that I have for uh, the summers in the other range I did a fragrance uh, list which in which I included the niche perfumes for summers. I'll be coming up with a design list as well. And uh, there will be a couple more things that will be covered in the future very shortly. So thank you everyone uh, for your support on my previous videos. They are doing very well. I'm getting a lot of love on them, a lot of interaction. And the one thing that I love the most is that people are asking to buy those fragrances. So I'm able to connect them to the people who are making those fragrances. So that is something I'm very happy about that people are taking my recommendation and then going to the people who are making those perfumes. So that is a good thing. That is a positive thing to see. I'm very glad. I'm very thankful to all those who take my recommendations and give me the feedback that they really like that, like that fragrance. 
so thank you once again for tuning into my channel thank you once again for watching this video i would request you to please don't miss out on liking the video don't miss out on subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and last but not the least do connect with me on instagram and thank you so much for watching my video come back soon for more content